Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to create this terrain. We'll look how to create these layers around the rocks. As well, we'll have a special erosion on this mountain with uh, some less erosion on the bottom. So we'll look how to create all of this layering and the layering with a mask using on specifically. So we can combine different type shapes and textures in one. Let's work on this project by creating a um, couple mountains and I want to create a little bit more complex mountain with multiple level. So for this we'll go on generation, generators, and we'll create first radio. This will represent our main mountain. Actually, you know what, let's go back to our scenery. And right here I'm going to actually go and select a little bit bigger area so we'll have it more room to grow. Okay, so right here we're done. This is our kind of will be one mountain on the middle. And we'll go after and add advanced perlin to this. And we'll connect to the mask in this. So this is will be kind of like our mountain um, on the middle. And we'll, let's pop up this just slightly higher, maybe around this area. Okay, this is, think about this as a peak and it's what I was, we'll add a little bit more details to this, pop up elevation way up, maybe add some sharpness, good awkward persilence, I think this is about right, let's go to ring it, a bit less this way. Okay, just overall rough shape on the middle. This is mostly what I'm interested in. Okay, next let's create another purlin. So we'll connect two. And this, as you can see already, we have it kind of on the middle and around this area. So this is what I want, this mountain, but I do want kind of spread area around. And this spread will be another radio going to our mask input and we'll go expand maybe around this area. So right here you can see how we our mountain and we kind of expand a little bit more but we still have it um, on top. So this way we can creating some of those um, more spread around area. So just kind of help us to create interesting mountain again. You can achieve also just with one what you're looking, but in this way, I want to show you a little bit more complex. For example, for this mountain. We have two levels. Okay, this is one way. We're kind of adding one, another one. Um, what if I want to combine with something? So let's say you come, you create it, but in, you know, beside you have it another Perlin on the side and add over. We can add additional different elements like we did it in other rocks in other areas. So in this case, I'm going to add, we'll go with Marini and we'll go switch to the cell. So we'll go edit this kind of rocks. So I'm going to add them right around here so they can go to our mountain. Um, we'll go to combine this. So right now, let you know what, let's go to natural filters, add erosion, and we'll con connect this one to primary, just overall. So we'll have it kind of effect on our mountain. We don't need too much, but it will add just a little bit more to this. Okay, and again, if we need it, we can increase a little bit higher, you know, we can even take rock hardness, or I'll just modify a little bit. Okay, and if we preview, you can see we have it nice mountains with effect on the rivers. Okay, let's go next and um, add some of this erosion. But the problem is right here, let's, what if, for example, you want to preserve this top so you don't want erosion on the top? Maybe I want to 
create something else. For this, we also can use a masking tool. And let's go to create another radial. And this is will be for us just to help us identify area where we want to spread. Or actually, in this case, let's go preserve. So we'll go create inverter for this. And this is area where is a preserve and it will apply um, a kind of erosion on the side. So if, for example, I like this keep it mounted, not erosion on the top, just on the bottom, this way will isolate it. And you know what? Let's add a little bit blur. So I want a little bit smoother like these edges. So we can add a little bit blur to this. And I'll kind of go connect this to our mask. And if we preview, you can see right here with our mask, we still preserve erosion here, but our top mountain still almost untouched. We actually can separate or we can apply total different effect to this to the top. So we'll have it more combinations. And again, point of the story so we can see how we can take different type of the erosion, different type of terrains and stack them based on the layers. Okay, so we already have right here kind of um, area where it's affecting. So let's just reuse this. We'll go to our Verna and you can see we kind of almost disable um, rocks. But they're going straight in. And if we connect them to our scenery, the edges will have it very rough, not pleasant looking. Instead, we'll go use the expander. And we'll switch this to hybrid. Hybrid look very nice. And we'll just make them smoother. So let's preview. You can see look more like a boulders rocks. And these edges is what I want. I want them not go all the way, just a little bit smooth. It will make this nice effect of the rocks. Okay, sometimes those rocks, if they're a little bit too high, we always can add additional clamp node. And inside clamp node, we can go and bring them. Let's normalize inputs. And we can add, just bring them a little bit down. And create this nice type of rocks. And this center, it's what I don't, where I don't want those rocks to be. Again, we can also expand this as well. So let's put right here, so it's from an inverter. Or make this area bigger if we need it. But for now, let's just leave it. Okay, next, I want to combine those together. So we'll go to Combiner. Okay, we'll take this to the one, take this to another. Let's go to the Add. And you can see, okay, let's add K. Okay. Here we have it so far. Because we hide some of that elements, you remember, erosion, so we can just leave it on a back. So we can also take the combiner and we can go from inverter, add to mask input, just to help preserve some of this area. And you can see we still have the erosion going. Again, this is just example. So we, um, if, for example, we one, we can take these and just connect to our blur instead erosion. And on this case, we applied erosion to the top and ignoring bottom. So it's um, whatever you think will work best. Best. So like right there, we can open. Go up. And you can see top one have more erosion and we're ignoring bottom. So this way you can control one area from another. And with this, we combine them together. So the problem sometimes with erosion, you can see it will bring down kind of top. So we want increase this and we can go inside the filters and we can use equalizer.
and you can see with the equalizer we can bring quite a bit up I'll just need to restore it a little bit on top it's a very beautiful mountain and combine this let's go to nature we'll go take another erosion connecting let's open go to the channel this is too much because we start losing some of those rocks I don't want to lose them you can see right here we have a nice mountain the double erosion apply applied we can also just add weathering or any other effect and we have these rocks that on the bottom also you can see the small erosion applied to them as well um, let's go pop up this a little bit higher with resolution and sometimes happening when you start render um, they will look slightly different because they were color resolution so and I like to switch between them and see how they will look okay it's done let's see and you can see of course we have it more details but the rocks look very nice and we add all of this kind of rocks a little bit more to the bottom because in some cases if erosion is too strong remember we can go take this way down to preserve some of those simple rocks here as well we can modify a little bit on equalization and the clipping so we have it more stronger instead um, one so for example we can go right here select and connect right there so equalization happen after because with erosion we can um, decrease a little bit to one way but you know what let's go ahead and delete this and I think we just fine we'll leave it with a little bit lower kind of effect okay let me go ahead okay so right here is our complete this way the rocks a little bit look a little bit better I think than otherwise and we still have a nice beautiful mountain the erosions and double erosion so it's look a little bit older and boulders going kind of around this okay so other things we need to do let's go back and we want to actually connect so we'll go to output we'll create high field output one two three four for each of this one I want also create one more actually let's create two more so this one is will connect to our rocks because I want to just take output high field on the rocks so if I want to modify or add to them this is what I can go to use we're also going to use high field we'll use it flow map we'll use it where deposits and we have it one more and you can see we can just in case we can take this mask or we can take mountain itself um, without anything and reuse as well and I probably will go to do this um, like from here and go on output this will be a little bit different but it will provide um, some nice effect and um, if I want to add as a mask to this it's actually very nice we can go inside the selectors select connectivity and let's from here actually connect you can see it's add a little bit more to the rocks the string and actually you know what let's output this way so you can see we will have it a very nice beautiful um, mix of the rocks included on top so we want to add a little bit to bump map very very slightly we can reuse this I don't know if we will going to use but it's nice to know the map is here